It says, Nata Sepati Masti. Sita Sita Upanishad, chapter number 4, verse number 19. In Yajurved, chapter 32, verse number 3. Nata Sepati Masti. Of that God, there is no Pratima. Pratima means Almighty God has got no image, has got no photograph, has got no painting, has got no portrait, has got no statue, has got no sculpture, has got no idol. I am asking you, do you believe in one God? Do you believe? I do. Do you believe idol worship is wrong? Uh, no. They tell me, Dr. Zakir Naik, we have read the scripture, we agree with you totally. Idol worship is wrong. But what happened? Those who are initial, you know, toddlers, in the early stage of life, you require idol to concentrate. When you reach higher consciousness, no idol is required. I tell them, we Muslims have reached the higher consciousness. We don't require idol. <laughs> Go back to the Bhavishya Purana, Part 3, Khan 3, Adhyay 3, and Slokas 5 to 8. Malaysia, one of the meaning is non-Aryan, meaning a foreigner. One of the meaning is sinner, one is a wicked person. But the other meaning is also foreigner. Your second meaning, Marustal. One of the Marustal, I do agree. Mar means death. But the other meaning of Marustal in Sanskrit is a sandy track. The third question that I mentioned in the prophecy, that Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam took a bath in the Panch Garv in the Ganges. When you say bath in the Panch Garv in the Ganges, it means to purify. And even if you physically have a bath in the Panch Garv in the Ganges, not necessarily you will be purified. It is the philosophy of the Hinduism. So here when the prophecy says that Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him had a bath in the Panch Garv, it doesn't mean he came here in the Ganges. It means that he was purified by Almighty God.